Yeah, she is. Go on, tell her. Shut up. Go on, you never know, it might get serious. I'll get serious with you in a minute. I'll put you in plaster. <laughs> Shut your face. Can anybody join in, or is it a secret? Oh, you got a valentine. I got a few, actually, uh, darling. Yeah, off a 12-year-old. Big deal. Oh, little love, bless him. Anyway, mine don't count. Are you two winding me up? It arrived after you'd gone. I thought your dad had run out of surprises. Another first. Yeah, but it's a good sign, though, isn't it? Flower doesn't really cover it, though, does it? Still, we're going to have to reopen negotiations at some stage. I suppose he's trying. Anyway, what about you two? Twelve-year-olds not included. Um, he got one after Donna. Ooh, big surprise. Well, you're going to take her for a night out in the town, then? Shame Marlon's, if you must know. You're a class at you, aren't you? Shame Marlon. Perhaps you could pick up some of that romantic French accent while you're there. Oh, yeah, what are you doing? Having a laugh. <laughs> what, with your mates? So? Uh, let's see, what's missing from Ollie's big Valentine's night? Oh, that's it, lads. Ooh, yeah. hilarious. All right, then, God's gift. Get in the kitchen and put the kettle on. Do something useful for a change. That's about all they're fit for, really. Chloe, hiya. Hi. Going to a do? Nah, just thought I'd have a bottle of wine, watch a bit of telly, as you do. So you're not going out, then? Oh, I can't be mothered, really. What about you? No, I think the football's on, so I'll probably stay and I'll watch that. Yeah. Sorry, but we're shutting in two minutes. Right. I haven't seen you for a bit. Um, thought you might be staying out my way. Hey? No. No, no, honestly, I haven't, no. If you're not going out, um, do you fancy going for a drink or something? If you're on. Hi, Chloe. Well, uh, shall I pick you up later, then? All right, about seven. Yeah. Save this for another time, eh? Yeah. Am I the only one who's going out tonight? Not now, Emily. OK. Yeah, not bad. Work's a bit of a pain, but apart from that, you? Surviving. Signs of an improvement, actually. You've, um, not had your court notice yet, have you? Yeah, I got it this morning. I've just posted it back, actually. I thought it was due. All gets a bit real all of a sudden, doesn't it? Once you get dates, times, do this, sign that. It's just a formal letter. Yeah, I know. Still makes you go cold when you read it, though. Like you're the one that's done something wrong. Right, see y'all. I'll see you before you shut, yeah? Yeah. Everybody gets nervous. It's normal, that. How about terrified? Listen, I've been in court more... What are you doing tonight? Buy me a pint and I'll fill you in on the British legal system. You can't whack that for a night out, can you? I oh, can't wait. What, seeing the woolly about seven? I promise you won't have to take notes. I'm sorry to have to worry you up. You're keen to get away, aren't you? I hope you don't think I'm being rude. It's just I don't get out much. Look, up until now, that barn has been nothing but a liability. It's time to let it fall down on somebody else. Yeah, but it was our liability. Yeah, well, now it's a great big wad of cash. Which would you rather have? I reckon it's fair enough. All right, all right. Only said I weren't sure about flogging it. Well, it's done now. Yeah, and when that cash has disappeared, cos it will, what have we got then? Less hassle. Right. Give over bending me in a pair of you. Like you say, it's done. So, uh, by way of marking the occasion, and seen as it's uh, Valentine's and I'm a romantic old dog on the quiet. Yeah, it's been very quiet. You and me, my love, are going out proper, so start getting yourself ready. Are you poorly? Eh? Eh? Never better. Valentine's, I believe it when I see it. Eh? What about you, love? What are you doing tonight? I'm going to Woolpack with Nicola. Bit tasty, eh? Yeah. What are you doing with her? Well, she's uh, related to Bernice. Chances are she'll be right enough. Huh. We get on. You do right, love. Hope you have a nice time. Well, I'm getting legless, so you can stuff your valentines. Hey, might want to introduce me to your mate, though. Liven up a night a bit. You know what I mean? Well managed, thanks. You'd think we were asking somebody to muck out the stables with a kitchen roll. I mean, what is wrong with these people? I'm not sure where we go from here, to be honest. We've advertised, headhunted, begged. 
You can't get people to just jump ship at the busiest time of the season. There is no such thing as loyalty if we're offering more money. Uh, perhaps we're not all the same. Well, don't be so naive. Somebody will turn up. They just better do it soon. I'll make some more calls. You've been doing that since Tara left. Think for a change. I mean, you're the one that's supposed to know all about this, this horse business, so you keep saying. I seem to remember you telling me you weren't interested in my pony club connections. I just do as I'm told. <sighs> Not to the extent of you holding back on me if you know somebody, though, eh? There is one possibility. Maybe. Well, that's more than we've got so far. It's someone I used to know a while back. Andrew Fraser? He's just back from working for a big stud in Kentucky. He knows this area very well, actually. He's good at what he does, as well. So? So, what would you like me to do? I would like you to get on the phone, see if he's available, and set up a meeting. If that's not too much bother. You're in charge. Just get on with it, eh? Do you want a drink? No, please. Two pints, please, Bernice. Evening flower. I'm just in for a quick drink with Richie. Don't give me a hard time, eh? You could do better. You want a proper bloke. Mm -hmm. Like you, I suppose. Well, one who looks after you, instead of sniffing round skinny scrubbers like that Tara. And one who sends you uh, tokens of his affections, especially on certain romantic occasions. Look, just back off, will you, and stop interfering with what I'm doing. Do you like it, though? You are. Me flower. Do you like it? <coughs> yeah. It's a lovely flower. You all right? Yeah. Cheers. Fine. What's that creep after? All crooks are drawn to coppers. They think because we work together that we have something in common. Cheers. Cheers. You've got some nerve, you have. Couldn't you have thought of somewhere else? There wasn't anywhere else. It was all booked up. Yeah, well, I've videoed a good film on the strength of this. Oh, come on, does it matter? Hey? I'm not even looking at you, anyway. <sighs> Give me a break. Still, keep working at it. You're improving. Sir? Madam? Table for two? Mm, you're whistling in. Can't you keep it off after nine o'clock, all right? You get lost. How much money have you got? Uh, you're not supposed to ask questions like that. I'm getting it out of the way so I can eat and not worry. Enough. Are you sure? Yeah, well, as long as you're not going mad. Well, I don't think I'm hungry enough for a starter anyway. No, me neither. Do we think this Andrew Fraser might be in by now? I'd rather not stay the night on the off chance of him answering the phone, if you don't mind. Well, you try him then. Shall I mention your name? It can't do any harm. Right. What we need, if he's up for it, is a meeting straight away. Friday, as soon as I get back from Verbia. Shall I flag it up to Zoe or not? No. Don't worry about it. I just hope it's not some cowboy you're fitting us up with just because we're desperate, even though we are. Well, you'll be able to find out for yourself, won't you? Hello? Yeah, I'm looking to speak to Mr Fraser. It is. Uh, yeah, excellent. Andrew, right. My name's Chris Tate. Taran! Are we going then, or what? I thought you were kidding. I never jest where love is concerned. Come on, get yourself organised. Well, what about Belle? Eh? We'll drop her off at Betty's. It's all sorted. Oh, when you aliens have finished with us, that you're sending back, won't you? <laughs> Put on your eye, you sneakers. I'll be caught well, in an hour. Oh, then I may have a cocktail on the terrace. Oh, get lost, you daft so and so. <laughs> oh, by the way, once you're ready, I am taking you to a secret rendezvous. <laughs> it's a mystery, so you can't look. Blindfold. Don't you start getting kinky with me, lad. Remember what happened last time? It's only till you get there, then I'll uh, unblindfold you. <laughs> no messing. Would I? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Your carriage awaits. <laughs> Fine. 
five minutes and all will be revealed. That's what I'm worried about. Hey, where are you going? Whatever you do, don't move. My head's melting in this. Two minutes. Are we all sorted? It's all in there. Hurry up, we'll have it cold. Who's that skulking about with you? Stop minding, will you? You're supposed to be romantic, this. Uh, Zyke, you've not mentioned the... You've not mentioned the... Oh, I don't think I'm not very grateful. Ooh, you're a good one, are you? Mm. Best be off, eh? So, you talked about me. What's your favourite car? The one that doesn't break down? Uh -huh. <laughs> Marlon, can we have some more drinks, please? Must be busy here on this side. Look at the state, it's even, and I'm supposed to be in there creating. You can't complain about being busy, surely? Well, I wouldn't only. Hey, listen, uh, as soon as you're nearly finished and we're so busy, at last, you couldn't see a way to giving us hand, could you? Just, just to get us through the rush. You can't do that. We're customers. I wouldn't ask only I'm desperate. Come on, come on. You can see what it's like. Look, Marlon, look, I know you own this place, but look. No, sorry, no. Scott? So long as it's only a few minutes. Just to get us over the ump. Hey, hang on. Oh, give us a minute, will you? Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that. I can't not help him, can I? Anyway, it's your fault for bringing me here. Oh, right. So I'm just going to sit here on my own, then, am I? You'll be all right. I'll visit you. Oh, may as well take these while I'm at it, eh? Would sir like to look at the dessert menu? Two more minutes and we would have missed everybody. Oh, and what have I told you about spilling your aftershave, eh? Where's your mum? Gone for a drink. She didn't want to stay in on her own, I suppose. Well, she wouldn't have had to if she'd only gone for half an hour. No, but she didn't know that, did she? Teach me for spending half the night tarting myself up, eh? And she'll still know it's you. Nice rose, by the way. Just a bit naff, but not bad for you. What do you mean? Your Valentine's rose. I mean, I would have asked for the other 11 myself, but I think she was impressed. Yeah, well, you've got to do it, haven't you? And I'd follow it up if I were you. Is she down the woolly? Yeah, I think. Listen, do you fancy a brew while you're here? Seeing as I don't get to see my own dad anymore. My friends won't mind waiting 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, go on then. As long as I'm not making you late. See, what you do, you put your name on one half and the name of whichever fella you fancy on the other half. Oh, hey, how do you spell Clooney? Somebody real. <laughs> what if you can't think of anybody? Hmm. If you don't know the name, just put that bloke in Chippy, whatever. Right, so then what? Right, you put your name on one side and his on the other. And then you take his name side. And you throw it on fire. It's all a bit witchcrafty for me, this. Oh, it's not as if she's making a voodoo potion, is it? Still. And then you have to recite the secret incantation. And by next Valentine's Day, whoever's name you wrote... Drops down your chimney. Brilliant. No. Becomes a slave to your every whim. I like it. What do we have to say? It's a bit filthy. Oh, even better. It's all going to kick off again, though, isn't it? As soon as I get on that stand, all the people around here are going to start me to go again, like I'm trying to send one of their own down. You get on that stand and you tell the truth, no one in their right mind's going to condemn you for that. Oh, uh, well... As long as your conscience is clear, you just do what you've got to do. Yeah, I know, but... It's raking over me and Sarah again. I can just see them all now. Well, what was she doing with a kid like that in the first place? Something not right there. We were bad enough going through it when she was here with me. You'll be all right. You're always going to feel a bit weird because you think you know about it from films and stuff. I remember my first court appearance was this bloke kept running his van into the back of his neighbour's privet. Complete farce from start to finish. I think I can handle that. It's bound to get to you a bit. It does everybody. you just got to concentrate on keeping it straight and keeping it simple. And getting you around in. Same again. Cheers. <laughs> Yes. Goodness sakes. <sighs> this better be it, or this scarf is coming off and going right round your neck, pal. Tight. One has arrived. Don't move.
<laughs> His madam would like to step this way. Oh. <laughs> Has he just got me a card like everybody else? No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I nearly dropped him. You said it'd be a few minutes. People are waiting for their orders. Yeah, but what about me? I thought you'd finished. No, I mean... I mean sitting there like a right pillock. Miss? Look, just wait for me. I won't be long. Who gets both done the washing up next? We'll be away quicker if you're volunteering. <sighs> oh, about time and all. Oh, well, at least I can tell Nicola a beer mat's work. Sorry? Forget it. Where have you been? Sorry. Probably my fault as much as anything. We had a lot to sort out. I was trying to catch this stud manager Virginia recommended. Well, Virginia used to know. I've not heard anything lately. He just used to be highly thought of a while back, that's all. Anyway, we fixed up the earliest you can make a meeting, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get back from Verbia in time. Yeah, I mean, we might still be gliding down the slopes, or better still having a drink and watching the other ones do it, eh? Uh, that's what I mean. You're going to have to meet him and fill him in show him around, what have you, so he can get a feel of it, and then I'll see him and go over things in detail at the weekend. He's fine with it. We're all sorted. Stop here. What about Verbier? It's not going anywhere. And I'm only seeing Tara, so it's hardly a pleasure trip. We're talking about a major business development. Well, that is what you wanted. I'm leaving it with you. I'm sure you'll like him. And don't forget, you are my official piano. Everything's switched off. Dad. Hey, now don't you go getting up to anything wild. Oh, and you can talk. I'm still your dad. Yeah, well, go and find Mum. Is that it? Whoa. It's <laughs> Ark! Oh. Hey. Right, nearly there. <sighs> Are you ready? You're joking, aren't you? No more than you deserve. Lady Tara's bedroom. <laughs> Fuck! Are you going raving mad? We'll be locked up. <laughs> I'll lose my job. She always was one that stuck up, cow. And nobody knows her here. Well, except you and me and uh, Jason, because he gave me the key. The devious little swine. Mm -hmm. The shutters are closed. Nobody can see in. And nobody's likely to wander past, are they? Oh, you've got it all set up and everything. I know. Bit of a dog, aren't I? <laughs> Zach Dingle. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, you daft lummox. Somebody has to. Hey. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all we need now is the magic ingredient. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bit <clears throat> Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nearly. <laughs> Silly thing. <laughs> oh, my favourite. Yeah. Right, time for cheese on toast and my big slippers. Hey, we have a wild time, us, don't we? You don't have to go if you don't want to. Nah, I'll get myself off. Since I've only had one drink, I might as well give you a lift home. If you insist. At least we've got over worrying about court. Hardly. Maybe that's what I should do. Go for a few beers beforehand, get myself well relaxed. I wouldn't recommend it. I thought the bread were included. 10% service charge? What's that for? How are you supposed to eat it if they don't bring it? God, I think, I think we're struggling. Well, you go check your coat pockets. I'll go to the ladies and empty my handbag. How much do we need? I think we're down by about £2.70. I wish you brought a bigger handbag. Can I say this? Just hang on two secs. I think it's a bit short. We're just figuring it out. I'll give it a few minutes, eh? So what's going on, then? Oh, shouldn't be too long. Have another drink or something. Can you not hurry a few of the up or something? Just don't be mean. I don't think Mark and Donna have got enough money. I feel dead rotten for him. Mm. How much are they short? I'll pay for it. 
Oh, that's nice. But don't feel embarrassing. Mark's trying to impress him, bless him. Yeah, I know, he feels. Look, tell him I'll pay for it, and if he's embarrassed about it, then I'm sure I'll get over it. Honest? Yeah, well, too nice, what can I do? You can let me work just get on with it, if you don't mind. I think Mark got his sums wrong on the bill. But don't worry, Scott says I'll pay for him. Oh, uh, so I'm rummaging. Good job we've not got a set here. be down the back of it, but now. Oh, I think it's cute. Yeah, I know. I've been a bit funny with him lately. So, listen, put your money away. I've written it off, forget it. Oh, well, seeing as you're in such a generous mood and you've had me working all night. And me sitting around like a spare part. Yeah. All right, all right, we'll call it straight. See, I'm such a romantic. Get table four cleared, would you? See, all sorted. Yeah, well, everyone's uh, happy. Right, well, um, I'll leave you to it. I'm going to call it a night. You going? Well, do you know, I just get that impression that I'm getting in your way, hanging around, so... Ring me or something. You know I said in there that I wasn't going to worry about it? Yeah, I'm holding you to it. Yeah, well, I lied. <laughs> I wouldn't say that in court. I'm frightened to death, Angie. Oh, Richie, you'll be all right. Trust me, I'm a copper. Come here. Ha, <laughs> ha,